Welcome back to 412 Artists, a PTC talk show where we interview artists around Pittsburgh. Uh, today we have Joey Boa. You're Joey Boa, you are from where? I'm uh, from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Nice, nice. And, uh, wh- what do you do exactly? Uh, you know, I take some photos, hang around, run some TV shows. Nice, nice. Nothing, nothing crazy. Sweet, sweet. Um, well, when did you uh, take your path? When, when, when did you uh, decide to go into media production? Probably my uh, sophomore, junior year of high school. Started taking some media classes in Bethel Park High School. Um, and it really just started to started an interest for me. You know, I, I really enjoyed taking those classes. Uh, and, you know gave me a, a drive to pursue that as a career uh, and I mean that's what I'm doing now awesome awesome so uh, what kind of photography do you shoot uh, right now I mean I've been shooting a lot of sports for our school I know this weekend I'm going to Carnegie Mellon I believe to go shoot the second outdoor meet for the track team um, I shot men's and women's basketball this year last year I shot some softball uh, planning to shoot some baseball this year hopefully uh, when I'm not shooting sports, uh, just like urban photography out in the streets, some street photography, sweet, some some basic stuff. Awesome. So where do you where do you go to school? I go to uh, Point Park University. Awesome. Okay. Cool. So, uh, what does this uh, photography mean to you? Um, I'd probably say it's I don't know. It's a tough question. Probably it's just something for me to you know be able to go out and do. Uh, when I have nothing going on, just, you know, post what I post and hopefully it reaches a greater audience for everyone to see and enjoy my work. Nice, yes. So, um, what part of uh, media production caught your attention? Uh, probably just the, the art aspect of it. Um, <clears throat> I, re- I really enjoy watching other people's work and seeing what everyone else is doing. Uh, so whenever I wanted to get into it, I mean, that's pretty much what I wanted to do. Yeah. I just wanted to be able to put out work create that, stuff the yeah, creative create aspect stuff, of it. yeah the creative aspect yeah exactly i just wanted to be able to create stuff for uh, other people to see out yeah. on uh, the social media world. oh yeah for sure there's definitely a lot of creative uh aspects to that field yeah for sure um so how do you how do you plan on making an impact uh you know i really just i hope what i have to put out there in the world i really hope you know i don't want people to you know think it's sentimental or anything or you know mm-hmm. stuff like that but I don't, I don't really want to say my work will impact anyone um but you know if if it does you know that's great i'm glad it did yeah. I, of course I, of course yeah so let's uh let's talk about your show what's what's your show all about uh so my show is pioneer sideline um we talk all things sports. We usually start off our show with our host, uh, Natalia. She's great. She does usually, at least recently, she's been doing a lot of track, uh, cheer and dance, other Point Park sports. Mm-hmm. Um, then after after Natalia does her segment, uh, we go to other Point Park sports that are going on, which is usually, I mean, right now it's baseball and softball. Um, a couple weeks ago, probably about a month ago, would be a lot of track. Uh, or not track, sorry, but basketball, men's and women's basketball. Um, and then after a uh, basketball segment, we go into our regional topics, which is Steelers, Penguins, Pirates. We usually have two or three other people, including myself, that usually go on the regional sports. Um, and then after regional, we do national, which is just all like NFL, MLB, nice. NHL stuff. Okay, cool. And then uh, after that, we, do, we have a segment called the Case of the Week, mm-hmm. uh, which... Is usually something that we can all talk about. Uh, there's usually three or four of us uh, in front of the camera, and it used to be like a debate topic that uh, pe- people in the past would do. More recently, it's just kind of been talking about big news that's been going on. Um, but yeah, mainly sports, mainly Point Park sports. That's our main focus. But mm-hmm. towards the end of the show, we get more uh, uh, broad with Out just there, yeah. sports in general. That makes sense. Awesome. So, uh, what do you do to help produce this show? Um, so being the head producer, I, uh, I have to write scripts. I write my own script every week, usually, usually on Mondays, but if I don't have time, usually on Tuesdays. Um, sometimes I know for, for some people it's hard to write scripts. I still struggle writing scripts sometimes, so I'll have to write some scripts for sports that people don't really know how to talk about. Um, I just make sure everyone's organized and everything's going on, uh, Usually before the show, I, I like to get there like 30 to 45 minutes early just to print out 
uh, scripts and rundowns, mm-hmm. so uh, everyone on the crew knows what's going on and who needs to be where and which camera and which mic needs to be where. And then, um, <coughs> excuse me, whenever whenever I print out the scripts, I usually section it out for everyone, so everyone gets their own little like packet of scripts that awesome. they can all just run over before the show. Sweet, so you run, you do a lot of stuff. Yeah, pretty important. Pretty important. I role. mean, yeah, being the Overdog. head producer, I'd like to say it's pretty important. Oh, for sure, yeah, yeah. Um, so who 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 do you typically try to reach with this show? Uh, so the main art audience that we have is just the students. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't get a lot of views, but the main the main audience is the students for everyone to be more, uh, you know, informed on what's going on Connected. in the Point Park sports yeah. world and uh, like the national sports world. We also have um, the CMI, the Center for Media Innovation. It's on one of the corners by our uh, campus that has TVs on the outside that people can watch. So just anyone that's watching the, the show on you know like a normal day out on the street can see it uh or even i mean I'm trying to do this to get a job so if, yeah if i start putting out my work hopefully people in the workforce will it's see a, what i have going yeah on. it's a great portfolio piece yeah. too that you can put out there and stuff yeah, so exactly who knows someone might see and be like hey this guy's pretty good i hope so you know um so why did you uh take on the role that you have with this show the producer role uh, so last semester I was actually co-producer. Uh, my friend Ben was the head producer. Um, he actually got a job with uh, 93.7 The Fan and KDK Radio, so we had to step down because nice. he's uh, super busy now. Of course. Um, but he handed me the role. Uh, I mean, it. I wasn't. I honestly wasn't expecting to get the head producer role, especially after uh, the the first semester that we had. I figured we would just keep doing uh, like my co-producer role. But it's nice because now I get to, like, I don't want to say boss everyone around, but I get to boss everyone around. Yeah. Everyone has to do what I say. Mm-hmm. And I like the show to go the way that I like it to go. Big boss boba dog. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's me. Of course, yeah. So where'd you, uh, where'd you like to see yourself go with this experiment? Experience, sorry. Uh, I mean, I'd love to get a job, hopefully. Um, switching... Going from broadcast production, media management, and switching it to sports comm, I'm trying to focus more on sports now uh, and get into the sports world. I mean, I would love to work for the Pirates or the Steelers or the Penguins, honestly. Um, either as a broadcaster or a photographer or something mm-hmm. like that. Uh, but that's the goal, hopefully, to work with some sort of sports organization in the cool. future. Yeah, it's a nice, nice school set. Yeah. Sweet. All right, well, thank you for uh, stopping by with the show. Be yeah, our guest. Of Thanks for having me. Of course. This has been Boba Dog. Boba Dog out. Uh, 412 Artists, be sure to check in next week for our next artist.